Live from the best part of Austin, where ladies and gent... Wait, well, hold on a moment. Ah, dang it, Twitter has just banned us. Well, but it's still going to be a great night. Now, put away your problematic literature and put on your Project Alpha, Alpha merch, because here are your hosts, Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Young! Oh, my goodness. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Justin, Justin. Yeah, yeah, Oh, Brian. my God. Yeah, I was what's just, up? Yeah, just finally. Okay. You know, normally we're all... Yeah. Let's, yeah. yeah. Nor- normally yeah. we always start with a bit, and yep. it's disingenuous. I'm just... But it's not, yeah. So good. Sorry. I okay. It's, it's just so good. Glu- it's so good. So good? Yeah. It's great. It's so good. It's great. And I was just thinking about how, like, finally the day... I'm sorry. Okay. I, I, I was thinking about how We're, great... We keep switching microphones for audio listeners. <laughs> uh, I, I was thinking about how great it is that we're so authentic, and finally we could talk about some real shit. Some real shit. Real yeah. Shit. Let's go. Like the nanobots inside your testicles. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I didn't think we were going to start here, but but uh, I have nanobots inside my testicles. I've had them for most of my adult life. I was born in a lab. Well, at least my testicles were born in a lab. I lost my testicles in a sheep shearing accident when I was eight. And uh, I was gifted testicles by a scientist who happened to be in the public park when it happened. And he just had them on ice and said... But you can have them, but they're full of nanobots. And my mom didn't know what nanobots were at the time. But anyway, that's why I'm good at calculus. Okay. Uh, uh, you know what? Can we, can we swap mics? Let's swap oh, mics. Okay. Yeah. All right. Bryce, what's our first story? <laughs> we very specifically didn't do topics. We very specifically didn't Not pick any it. topics. They didn't pick any. <laughs> Two weeks. Like, we had a whole conversation. It was yeah. the very first point in our production meeting today. Yep. Should yeah. we not do topics today? Yep. Well, yeah. let's, let's not do topics. And then Blame Bryce, it on the Bryce, nanobots. Wasn't I, <laughs> Bryce, wasn't I looked at funny when I asked, are we really, really we're, we're not going to do that? And you're like, relax, No, Brett. no, no, no. No, no, like, no, no, okay. no. I, 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 I think Justin, Justin, uh, I think it was Justin and not the nanobots talking when, when he suggested, like, uh, yeah, we'll just remember everything right we'll remember everything yeah yeah okay so start starting with the fact that i bought into what clearly is a multi-million dollar stealth uh marketing advertising campaign for the jacket i'm wearing yes you have a brown jacket and it is uh popularized on the hit television show the last of us yeah Oh. Which is which is going to be a big deal because it's in the apocalypse, so we, the motherfucker has to wear the jacket like he's a cartoon character for the entire series, right? Yeah, wait a minute. When did this jacket come out? Is there a continuity error? Because, because like, nobody's making jackets after 2003. Okay, so... Yes, they on. are. Wait, can yes, I, they wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What are you talking wait. about? Let's, before, before we go any further, can we please explain the corkscrew mind of Brian Brushwood? <laughs> <laughs> because <laughs> you watched the last, you were very excited. You played the game, very excited for the show. You watched the show. The show is very exciting. And you see this man with a jacket and you're like, that's a great jacket. Well, I didn't think that until I saw a headline that said, that's a great jacket. <laughs> and you were like, God damn. And then I it saw is a great seven jacket. goddamn other headlines that said, such a great jacket. Great jacket, right? Followed by an eighth headline that was, Huh. What's up with all these headlines? Wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, no, you're getting ahead of my version of the story. Okay. Because you saw one headline. Oh, yeah. You texted or emailed your wife. I forwarded it. I shared you, it. And you said, great jacket. With the idea being, it's my birthday coming up. Oh, I, might be ha- I might have a jacket in my future. I mean, look. Uh, all I'm saying is... Uh, I know a fine waxed, uh, <laughs> n- n- waxed trucker jacket when I see one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> in size media. 
Uh, media? Medium. God damn it. Fuck it. Fuck everything. I, yeah. anyway, no, you got a yes, Spanish jacket. Yes, yes, Bonnie yes. bought this That's for my birthday. That's a lot of words for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, you yeah, wanted the yeah, jacket, yeah. you got yeah. the jacket. Yes, yes. yes. So, but because you're Brian. Yes. And because that can't be the end of the story. Yes. You now have invented the idea, a, a gigantic conspiracy. Yes. That this is viral marketing and you, uh, you're not fooled. You are not fooled. I'm you might, willingly you might, participating. You need to know that Yes, uh, I think this is a clever way to market jackets. Not that you were the rube who saw one headline and got it. There's a lot of headlines. Look at this. The Last of Us jacket has 291 million results. <laughs> it's a good jacket. It's a fine jacket. So, so do you like the jacket? You have the jacket now. Do you like the jacket? Love it. So is this considered cosplay, what you're doing right now? If I could, I would cosplay every day of my entire life. Yeah. There is a good chance that in an alternate timeline, I would, if the jacket fit better, I would only be, I would switch to horn-rimmed horn glasses uh, and uh, wear a hat and always have a Mr. Robot jacket on at okay. all times. So there. Okay. Well, and and it's 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 specific since it was bought in Austin, and that's where the show starts. So yeah, although I found out they shot it in Calgary or something. Yeah, because it didn't look like Austin. No, yeah. although they did bother to like drive up one of the Capital Metro buses. Yeah, <laughs> to Calgary. Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, anyway, Last of Us, I dig it. Uh, it sounds like you got beef. What? I don't have any beef. <laughs> I don't know. Beef. What means you think I have beef? Brian, I have you, no beef. Brian, hone in, hone in on him. No, hone in on him. Get him. Get him. Get him, Brian. I'm. 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 I. I. I'm not going to be the guy with this one. I'm not going to be the guy. Everyone's having a good time with their show. They're having a really good time. I'm not going to be. I'm but, not going to be its stinks guy. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not going to be you. that guy I, that you. you all think I'm going to be. I. I hope everybody's having a really good time with the television. Man, that's what I'm hoping. Oh, the fuck last fuck you. Ma 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 right. Maybe fuck I've been you. like super hey, lucky or something, yeah. but, but but what might that guy sound like? Because I've never met him. <laughs> I no. <laughs> oh, tut tut tut, my friend. Nope, not that easy. He had to wake up pretty early in the morning or be married to me to get <laughs> my unvarnished opinions without asking. No, sir. So, I don't need all these PlayStation virgins up my dick hole because their <laughs> show sucks. So we're not talking about that 90s show then, right? I have not seen Lick One. Of, oh, no, no, no. Um, I, I, I can't bring myself to. No. Uh, <laughs> But uh, uh, I, I was wearing, uh, I, I ruined this jacket. It's got. Uh, oh, look uh, at it. We've got to throw it out now. It's ruined. Well, I mean, it's got. Uh, Did you unwax the trucker? <laughs> That's a euphemism. How did he take uh, to the media? Uh, there, there, there's silver bits here and there's red bits all around uh, because apparently I uh, uh, mixed uh, powdered aluminum with rust. Uh, now, no, okay, is this the best new, way to tell yeah, this story? Right, here we go. New segment. Fire! Ow. Woo, 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 woo! <laughs> Brian said a fire! Yeah, I mean, it's, it was, it was, it was, oh, he's losing the jacket. Uh, I yeah. guess it's cosplay every day, but not all day, huh? <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. It's just a new look for that. Thing How there. fucking awesome would it be if he just very casually slipped on a Riddler onesie? <laughs> <laughs> it was just, it was just a costume change. I probably so, should. Uh, 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 Bryce, you want to bring us in on this? So oh, on Saturday, it was Saturday, right? Yeah. It feels so long ago. It uh, does. On Saturday, we we had a shoot. We had a modern rogue shootout, and we thought, well. What do we want it to be about? And, and, and in the text messages, it was pretty. It was pretty quickly proposed and decided. A thermite. We haven't done a thermite thing in a while. I don't know. Now, when you anymore. say thermite, what pray tell is thermite? The thermite. You so you know a fire. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm. I'm aware of fire. Yeah. What if it was twice as hot and it didn't need oxygen? 
Okay. Because and it was you, like made of oxygen. And you guys have previously used thermine? Well, uh, uh, yes. specifically, and I'm glad you brought this up, Justin. Yes, it is true that hacking the system is coming to Disney Plus yeah. on the 25th, tomorrow, as we record this. Seamless. And we were thinking, seamless. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> uh, the whole reason we got that show is because we did a segment 10 years ago where uh, I, I got 60 pounds of thermite and set up a bunch of laptops and uh, 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 did a big visual. Now, Justin, how how much do you think 60 pounds of thermite is? Do you think that's Wait, a little? 60 pounds of thermite or 60 pounds of laptops? Of thermite. How much? Uh, probably 60 pounds, no, I would guess. Do you think it's a lot, a lot or not? Is it a lot or a little? A pound. Oh, I, I, I would say 60 pounds of thermite would, would probably be a lot. Yeah. Probably be a lot, huh? Yeah. We thought it was going to be a lot, but, yeah. then, but then we fired it, and uh, it, 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 it didn't melt all of the laptops that we hoped it would, right? And, and Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Since then, we did various episodes where we did thermite to cook steaks and little things or whatever. We even sold thermite for a minute. Yeah, well, well, technically, or, we just sold the ingredients for thermite sure. and didn't <laughs> explain what you could do with it. Uh, but but uh, This so is it's all like, a parody. Hey, let, let's go back to our roots, right? And uh, so yeah. it's like uh, 60 pounds of thermite, uh, oh, maybe even a little bit more, 80 pounds, because literally we've never gotten a oh. very impressive result from thermite ever. Because thermite is a little bit persnickety because it's difficult to get started. Once it does get started... It needs to consume itself in the in no. the, the right proportions. Wait, can I can I can I take one quick side quest? I guarantee you that it's going to be right back here in two seconds. Mm -hmm. So I accidentally got way too high on Sunday <laughs> because I had uh, this little vape that a friend of mine had left me, but I didn't know how to work it, and I I hit the button and nothing happened, and it's been sitting on my desk for months. And then I finally was like, I'm going to figure out how this works. <laughs> on the moon for like, like four <laughs> hours. But that was an example of something that I didn't quite understand getting out of control. There you go. There you go. So 60 pounds is a lot, right? 60 pounds maybe is a lot. We, f we figured, okay, well, we've got a lot of material here. Let's, first off, let's take the longest way to count and divide <laughs> the thermite in possible. And um, we'll just, you know, we got that old Civic out there in the in the field. Just that yeah, old yeah, Civic. It's a car that we we bashed the windshield on, we stabbed the sides of. Yeah, it's got about a bunch of holes. and Yeah. We've broken into it. We've, uh, 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 we slid across the hood of it. What else can you do with it? Now, I uh, didn't realize, well, now, see, when I, when, I, when I came to the set for this shoot that day, <laughs> Yeah. I thought thermite. We've done thermite before. We'll oh, just do a little. Whoop, we'll just do a little dot because we. The idea was let's see if we can melt through a car. Yeah. Well, I mean, specifically through the hood or, the, or the, the the top, the, the canopy, the canopy. You could yeah. do yeah. the uh, uh 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 the the blue collar moonroof. Yes. Yes. And and, and uh, I, I was describing this to Bonnie the morning of, and she says uh, that sounds terrible. I demand you not do it. Yeah. yeah. To which I responded, eh. Listen here, lady. <laughs> oh, mm. oh, oh. I, would, I wouldn't use that language. <laughs> I now I hear it. I, I hear it now. Yeah, I yeah. hear it now. So, okay. so I, I thought, okay, we'll do a little dot. We'll see it go through the hole, and we'll kind of get a cool inside shot. And, oh, we could see it drip down. Like, and maybe oh, it my God. And then Brian winks through the top at the end and maybe a, a circle wipe. And well, so and, when and, they get to 80 pounds... I think, oh, they know how they know what the stakes are. On Clearly, it. this is not a bit, or this is a bit. I don't need to inject myself. They have a lot of control. Somebody over the knows what they're doing. They did. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, and and keep in mind, it's like there were there were dual goals. One is to celebrate the fact that ten years ago, this is how our whole journey into TV began. Yep. But also on top of that. I kind of want this thermite off of the property. And one way to do that is to cause it to all to, burn to, up. To burn it, yeah. yeah. That's Hide the evidence in the clouds. <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> well, you know what? We don't need to touch on that part. But uh, uh, So I got a couple of clips here of that moment if you'd like to see it. Oh, yes. uh, yeah. Uh, so, uh, Absolutely. Oh, okay, well, walk us through it. Okay, so uh, they dump 80 pounds of thermite on the top of the Civic. Oh, and it looked a little something like this. I mean, all right, so it's on it's on top there. 
Yeah. Brian in his jacket is <laughs> walking over to it with <laughs> like, like, lights in the back of Okay. Okay. Well, so that's nice. Nice little. Yeah. So yeah, it's a little like, sparkler. In my mind, yeah. it's it's gonna get okay. through the roof. That'll be great. We'll put it out and we're done. Right? Just a just a. No. Wow. Oh my God. Oh Jesus. That's a conflagration. Holy shit, this car is on fucking fire. That is a gigantic fireball. All right. Well, that's, that's the car. Holy <laughs> shit. Right yeah, it worked. So, that was the ignition. That was just the ignition. That was Might that was I show you? Hot and fresh out the kitchen. <laughs> I would like to show you about 25 minutes later. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. everything's on fire. Uh, so, yeah, so the, the car is still burning. It, luck it, later. It, 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 it luckily has not spread very far around the car. Oh, what's that? Do you hear that? Like a compressor? Yeah. Is that a pressure washer? Well... I don't well, know if we skipped the part. Yeah, we had a collaboration. This ended up being a collaboration with our friends at the Oak Hill Fire Department. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> the tires are on fire. The tires are on fire. They had to... They had to, like, destroy the hood to get it up so they could hit the, hit the Wait a minute. All right, here. Pause Pause this video. Pause this video. I need to know a minute by minute from you, Brian, on when I know the number one thing you do not want to happen yes. is, and for folks who do not know the geography of where that car is, it is right next to the woods. The number one thing that you have been afraid of with this property yes. is owning a large woodland area yes. that there's a, a, a propensity for wildfires because Texas has been dry recently. We haven't exactly today it rained, but but it had not rained for a little bit at the point that you guys are doing that. So number one, walk me through how afraid you are of of this setting a larger fire. And then number two, how long does it take you to call the fire department? <laughs> Uh, so great questions, yeah. fantastic <laughs> questions. I love that you asked them in that order. Uh, so, uh, 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 uh first of all, check, uh, the county website and uh, there is no burn ma ban. Uh, there's apparently enough, uh, uh <laughs> water. There. I'm sure area. exactly. This is exactly what they meant by yeah. you're allowed to burn things. Uh, <laughs> break, break uh, out the thermite. Second of all, good to go. they have, they have a little asterisk Japanese cars only. <laughs> <laughs> Second of all, this is the third or fourth time we've done a, uh, a, a thermite experiment, and uh, 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 we're fairly familiar with, with what happens. Always on grass. Are you? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Usually yeah. on grass? Yeah. yeah the yeah. thermite? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Right yeah. by the woods. Uh, yeah. 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 By uh, the woods. Also, also, two hours of me soaking everything all okay. around it. Okay. Uh, uh, Good. Took your time. I, yep. I'm, I'm, I'm no silly billy about this stuff. And, nope. Yeah, uh, in my mind, what I'm picturing is, you know, we're just gonna. You know, car. And, and we've already done this with a with, with a safe. We we busted open a safe. We cooked the steak on it. We melted wow. some laptops on it. Uh, mm. um, turns out, <laughs> cars are filled with flammable things. Yeah, yeah. That can't wait to just catch on fire. Yeah, that was the part. You'd that think we didn't... it would be the opposite. They love it. They fucking love catching on fire, Justin. They they love catching. How on familiar fire. were you about that fact before you lit the gigantic pile of thermite? So, uh, I never called the fire department. <laughs> uh, but around this time, it occurred to me that I wouldn't need to call the fire department because a press release was going <laughs> three miles up in the sky and also the fire department is one mile about away a, yeah, yeah it is it is not it is not far from where you are so they they probably that they, they, they came to investigate it themselves yeah did you know that they have a truck that they don't need to hook up to a hydrant 
Yeah, they, they they bring water. I didn't know that. I thought they always had to go to a hydrant. Uh, Saturday I learned. Nope. Uh, 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 did you know that the fire department just kind of drives around past your property until they figure out where the fire is? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, because this I is learned. inside on the property. This is not like on the road. It's it's it's, it's a good two acres back. How how is the introduction? Does the fire department just go like, hey, <laughs> so I mean that's, that's we noticed that there's a gigantic fireball on your property. Shockingly Wanted close. to make sure you had it under control. Shockingly close. Yeah, close. <laughs> so they were very nice. Uh, well, um, about not- as accommodating as people who have to put out a gigantic fireball can be. Uh, so- the first thing that they said, they, uh, I think, uh, I think I got to them before they hit Brian. And the first thing that they said to me and Jeff was, you can't do that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> to, to which you said, sorry. <laughs> Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. The only correct answer is I'm sorry, officer. I didn't, I didn't know that. No, I couldn't do that. <laughs> uh, and they, they, they ask uh, what's going on. I'm like, uh, this is a derelict vehicle. It's been here for four years. We were trying to do a little bit of thermite on top, and um, things escalated mm. <laughs> uh, uh, more than, than we thought. And then followed by, I accept full responsibility for everything that's happening. And, I, and I'm already doing the math. Uh, I just turned 48 years old. Uh, wouldn't it be interesting to go to jail for a night? <laughs> and then, uh, and, uh, and so there, there are most of the firefighters who are putting everything out. Uh, but there's like a foreman who's like, this is super illegal. Uh, and I'm like, had I known that a hundred percent. Yeah. And, uh, he's like, I have to call it in. To, uh, uh, to the main guy, and I'm like, uh, you go ahead and do that. Please do. And so he You're, calls you, it. And you are falling on your sword. Whatever needs to happen needs to happen, up one, to and including one a person. fine or jail, yep. whatever. Whatever, you whatever take, it is. You take full responsibility. Officer, please go ahead. Right. Uh, 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 he uh, walks off and comes back. He's like, yeah, Marshall's busy. And I'm like, okay. And he's like, mm-hmm. so... Uh, can you come by the, uh, the fire department sometime? And I'm like, uh, of course, of course. Why? He's like, I mean, we, we just want to see the footage. <laughs> <laughs> it's great footage, too. Look at, look yeah. at this fire. It's fucking huge. <laughs> yeah. it, it escalates. Guys, if, if you are only listening, uh, uh, it, it starts sparking, but the the speed in which it turns into... Like bigger than any Universal Studios stunt spectacular, <laughs> like a, a, a gigantic ball of flame is so, is crazy. So you and, actually, and look, I, I I know you've done this before, and I know you've seen shit like that, but you have to be shitting yourself when it gets that big. Little bit, little bit. Yeah. Now there's uh, no way. Like it's terrifying watching it on video. Yeah, we're like, when I know that everything's <laughs> fine. Yeah. Now, uh, up there up on the stool, guys, you've got uh, one of our little totems for that evening. <laughs> uh, wait, wait, before we get to that, there, right. there, there, there was a couple of things that happened. First of all, uh, things that happen when a car, when the thermite stops, because I know the thermite goes for only so long. Yeah. And then at some point, I'm like, oh, this is it, no it longer is, the it thermite. It's just the car on fire. It's just yeah. the car on fire. Things that happen when a car is on fire is the tires explode. explode. Yep. And electronics explode with green fire yeah Mm -hmm. so those start to happen it's like oh and so we back away and then meanwhile you guys got footage of all this right yeah pretty much pretty much i don't know how much of it will ever see the light of day (gasps) got a lot but (laughs) (laughs) sorry now 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 you've got like the the 1930s studio head justin (laughs) like like, (laughs) put it in the picture There was definitely a moment when stuff was getting real and you could tell everybody was pivoting into crisis management mode mm-hmm. around the time that uh, the lovable scamps who live next door <laughs> were peeking their heads over <laughs> the the fence, uh, giving helpful uh, support like, put out that fire! <laughs> like, 
Or, or, oh, you guys are in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, they really yes, did. Yes, we are. Please yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and yeah, then they, they also asked, "Are you? Is that for YouTube?" <laughs> well, actually, it wasn't the kids. It was, it was uh, uh, when they put everything out. They noticed uh, uh, the firefighters noticed the cameras, and they there was a pause, and they looked at me, and they were like, "So, uh, YouTube?" And I'm like. YouTube. <laughs> How was that? Um, so uh, at, at one point, the fire was uh, very big <laughs> and continued to be that way. And uh, we were keeping our distance because fire bad. Right. And uh, we had made a call. Jeff, uh, who was very close to the fire at one point, started moving some of his equipment away. But, but uh, we didn't move everything in time. Including one of our nice GH5 cameras, which Brian's got in his hands there. Uh, if you could show off the front hand rest of it to uh, Annalise, if you can zoom in on that. Uh, the front of it is, you can see it's a little distorted, right, Justin? Yes, I can, yes. Uh, 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 it's, a, it's, you know, the front of it, the front grip is a little screwy. You, 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 you missed the smoke coming off of it. Oh, oh yeah. no! Yeah. And so there was smoke on the tripod uh, <clears throat> of this camera. Uh, which you know what? Hey, the front front grip. Hey, you know what? We'd barely even touch it there. But um, the back of the video monitor, if you can oh, get that light. Oh Jesus! <laughs> so so for audio listeners, everything, all, all this plastic is warped to shit. It looks like a like a like a snakeskin wallet. It does. Yeah. It uh, apparently and still works. <laughs> wow. It recorded all of all of its duty. It, it is still in work as far as I can tell. Little other than mix. the parts that are already broken. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, so it, it we we melted a little bit of that camera body, and then one of the lenses that we're using tonight, we can't show you, but the front of it has a little bit of a plastic facade, and that started to melt a little bit too. So thankfully, we we got those just in time. But uh, I didn't like I didn't love doing that. It was very hot. That, that just, it was hot. It was hot. I accept full responsibility yeah. for the miscalculation. Uh, <clears throat> but now there's I a mean, new for, for calculation the, for the awesome, uh, which is it's fucking dope. How do we? make the fire department feel awesome like do do i show up and and teach everyone to eat fire do do we have a party uh i think probably no candles now, now is time for uh you to express your appreciation for the fire department yes it is your time to make friends with the fire marshal yes it is time to possibly Find out what kind of fraternal organization for which accepts donations that uh, there can be a fireman's ball or something. Do you need a videographer for your fireman's calendar? Uh, uh, whatever they need, I feel like now is a good time, not only for what is in the past, but also for future situations, just in case something gets a little crazy. Or you can have somebody that will be easy to get on the phone to say, hey, we're thinking about X, Y, or Z. What needs to happen? Do we need to apply for permits? Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Be very friendly. Uh, 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 yes. Yeah. yeah, Brian, be friendly. We, uh, yes! Come on. I, 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 I got an idea. <laughs> the friendliest of friends. We're All neighbors. Right. All right. Anyway. Uh, so anyway, that's coming to Monroe. Uh, hey, were you, were you so out. stressed out about that that you got a fucked up haircut? Can we see the haircut? Was it because you were like, yeah, God damn it, this thing is so stressful. I need to fuck my head up. I need my head so fucked up that everyone right, will look you. at me and say, look at old fucked head. Look, I... <clears throat> I hope I, there's a racing stripe down the middle. <laughs> I... Uh, it, mm. Okay, uh, I hope on the back of your head it, it's shaved in Sonic 3 coming this fall. <laughs> uh, Bryce, yeah. I sent you a photo of what I would like my hair to look like. Yeah. And it doesn't seem terribly complicated. All right, like, let's let's take a look. All right, we're going to the big screen I have a, a pretty roundish head. Mm -hmm. and, uh, this I, is I, Brian it, taking a very relatable photo in front of a private plane. <laughs> <laughs> Just a regular guy in, on a private airway with a private jet behind him. So, uh, what I like Was about this it... Was the time that we were on the private jet? Yes, yes. Okay. You're also the asshole, <laughs> yeah. and I'm trying to spare you. No, yeah, we, were, we took a private jet. Uh, That's the only person on the phone. So, so uh, I, 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 we because, didn't pay for it. 
because my head is very roundish, I I I I I I, I want to you know add some uh, uh, vert and some edges to uh, make it a little more angular. Huh. It's not complicated. It doesn't seem like that, but I, I've gone to expensive people and all of them just just shave right up to the top and give me like a. I don't know, a little, a little baby Cupid doll bullshit dollop oh, on top. So, so they so they and shave like, they shave too far, yes. too far up, and so it makes your head look pointy. Yeah, or or a big old fucking circle with a fucking dollop of turd on top. I, I fucking hate it, right? Yeah. Uh, so then I go to a cheap place, and I was like, "Can you cause this to happen?" And I show them this picture. Only I make sure to set my phone for a five minute di- timer where it won't go to. Uh, to uh, black screen for five whole minutes, so every time they're oh, working so on they it, can look at it the entire time. It's not fucking rocket science. The, go straight up the side, have it be an angle. Fucking hide you, the fact that my know, head is a stupid circle. Do you know the name of like the the side, like the clippers on the side? Because that's usually what people do is like like <laughs> like give me a two on the side, scissors up top. With a, bah, bah, bah. I don't ever know that shit, but but a lot of people do. What I have figured out is anybody who asks me for a number is gonna fuck it up, and that was confirmed today because. Uh, I, 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 so, so you wait, hold on, hold on. So you got a, a haircut two weeks ago, and it was good. It was a good haircut. Yeah, it was. It was kind of close to this, but you wanted it exactly close to. Well, it. no, it had been two weeks, and it was all poofy on the side. Like just fucking shave it straight up. How often do you get haircuts? Wait, wait, wait. Are I'll you like do the it, Jersey Shore guys? I'll do it every goddamn day if it will cause that, that to haircut happen. to happen, but nobody's been able to do that. So where did you get the first haircut two weeks ago? Uh, at the $15 bullshit the, place. The, 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 the Cutter McCutterson. Yes. 15 a bucks. Cut. Yes. I, 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 I very refuse good to even give their name. Got because yeah. Yeah. they got it right. Hair and time. I, and I thought to myself... That's it. It's not yeah. complicated. Go to hair time mm-hmm. and and just let them get it right. It's not a complicated cut. <laughs> oh no! Oh, that's really not good. I'm sorry, Brian. Oh, you look like a Russian gangster in a cheap TNT show. Just, yeah. just in, in you all, look in all your sentences with bro. You Make look sure you, you do that. You look like you the look Rock like wearing a wig. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> The, the, the guy it looks more like a toupee <laughs> than if you were to actually get a toupee. That is oh, true. No. Well, how did he fuck it up? Is it the same person or just the same place? Here's a pro tip. Oh, no. When somebody explains to you how they don't understand how Clippers works. Oh, no. What? Actually, that might be a clue. Else. Yeah. Oh. When somebody is offering running commentary on the ads playing on... 102 Jack. <laughs> uh, that might be a clue. Uh, so this was at the uh, same cheap place that you went before that yeah. had done it right. Yep. But it's a different person. He doesn't get to choose the person. That's yeah. It's actually not a it's not map. No, I couldn't get that. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing my best. I was doing my best. I couldn't I I because at one angle, it didn't look bad. And then you looked right at me, and I couldn't lie to you. Oh, no. I couldn't lie to you. What no, that's going to that? be that's gonna be a hat. Is, look at this. That's, 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 that's really that's screwed up. What the it, fuck is that's this? That's a hat situation. <laughs> what? They tried to give you a bang. They tried to give I you one bang. I don't know what this is. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, uh, there's do only think, one way to think, save it. Do you think maybe are you going to just shave it all off? Uh... <laughs> no. Or, no, 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 like, 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 like a high and tight, like a marine or something like that. Like not, not, not like a full like big uh, uh, thing. I mean, I'm half tempted to induce the male pattern baldness at this point. Or like, shoe it. Yeah, like a like a marathon man. Yeah, <laughs> just just shave everything negative on there. Yeah. Do you think that would be what an affront? I feel like everybody with male pat- pattern baldness would would hate you. Yeah. That you would sacrifice yeah. the uh, 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 lush true, 48 year old yeah. hair. <laughs> I mean, you have glorious hair. I would be uh, quite upset. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you're making you, it work. Unless you shaved your head. If you shaved your head bald, then, you know, we'd, we'd all put a loving kiss on top, and that would be. One, cool. time, one time there was this bald guy in Vegas. <laughs> Carve it. 
that uh, I was I was walking around. Uh, uh, this is at DefCon. Some of my favorite things. To, all I go. I realize I go to Vegas a lot. Like, cause we go to Vegas a lot yeah. and then I go to Vegas more than just us. Yeah. Like, like I don't have a secret family in Vegas, but if I sure. did, I'd go there enough to, to like have a secret family. But I like to, in Vegas, just get high on edibles and play slot <laughs> machines. And that's, I like to, we did this when we were there last time. I showed you my methods. Oh yeah, and, yeah. And we wound up winning like three hundred dollars. Uh, we did, yeah. Uh, uh, where you have to, you have to, you have to look. You have to judge the, the slot machine. Oh yeah, you have to judge people. a slot machine, a slot machine as a human. Yeah, and 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 and, and just uh, be all like, "Are you real? Hey, did you earn this place?" And That's you have to give a to trust, them. and in the same way that you would give a human trust. Yeah. Why are you, you working you, over here? Exactly. Are what you did you do? To out there? Are they needy? There's a whole thing. Anyway, so I'm doing that, but I'm at Caesar's Palace, and uh, this dude with your haircut, this haircut here, uh, he walks by me, and he's like, Coke, Coke, Coke. <laughs> was, was he celebrating uh, uh, the Coke brothers and, and their uh, investments in conservative? Let's say that. <laughs> Let's say that he was really, really, really excited <laughs> For the to, Coke brothers. For, to get other people who are fucked up in Vegas <laughs> to interact with the Coke brothers. Okay. Uh, uh, and so I guess I'm Florida man enough <laughs> that they're just like, oh, this man wants Coke. It's late at night. It's around, you know, midnight, one o'clock. He probably wants cocaine. And so I'm, I'm like, and I don't. I just want to fucking play these goddamn slot machines. So I'm playing these slot machines, blah, 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 blah. Uh, uh. And then I get up to go get a beer and he walks by me again. What? And he's like, Coke, Coke, Coke. And I'm like, I don't know how, like, like do I say no? Like, I'm trying to be not a snitch. I'm not supposed to be like, no, sir, I do not want to buy cocaine. Right? So then I'm sitting there playing the slot and I swear to God, it's like a family guy episode. I look to my right and there's my erstwhile Coke dealer just mean mugging me. Like, I know you're going to give up at some point. You're going to buy this Coke. With, 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 with this haircut. With that haircut. I know you're going to give up. Oh, some God day. damn it. Now you're giving me the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> and you're going to buy my Coke. I'm just, I'm playing like big splash uh, slot machine. <laughs> I'm looking for three, three Coke. lures. Coke. Stop. <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> You're scaring the fish! Coke? <laughs> how was the Coke? Yeah, how was it? <laughs> I didn't get any Coke! Uh, oh. I don't want any uh, Coke. That would ruin the high. <laughs> it, would, it would fuck with my connection with the machines. Sure. I connect with the machines. Do the machines talk to you when you're asking? Oh, yes. I'm confused. Well, I mean, they better start talking greenbacks. If you know what I, what I mean. Wait, you want the machines to bribe you? With yeah, I want them to give me money. <laughs> okay, how would you like to be walking around and then a machine just goes, hey, 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 and you're like, yeah, you with the <laughs> with the gray sleeves and the black shirt. Are you looking ooh, ooh, for a machine? Okay, yeah. listen. All right, uh -huh. look. Yeah, I'm gonna pretend okay. like I'm gonna take your money for a moment. Sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Then on the fourth roll, okay, I'm gonna pay out huge. Are you in? Yes. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Give me some money. Okay. Give me some money. Oh, you lost. Don't worry. It's all part of the plan. Oh, you lost again. Don't worry. Part of the plan. Two more. All right. Okay. Yep. And uh, all right. Here we go. This is the one. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to print my hair a little bit. Get ready for the big photos because this is my big win. You want some coke? God <laughs> that would be amazing. Like, like imagine if a, if a, if a slot machine trying to sell me coke. No, no, no. Like, like psychological warfare, where it's like that's part of the known rules going into the casino. It's like we're not just going to rely on brand value or yeah. statistics. We're actively going to try to trick you with lies. Yes. <laughs> to, 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 to playing these along. machines will actively lie to you. They're like, listen, we need a patsy. You are going to be the big winner. 
but we're going to fake a bunch of other rubes into coming and <laughs> leaving this as a loose slot. And it's like, oh, my God, I'm, I'm so here for that. Oh, wait, I was the rube. Yeah. Oh, no. Bryce, do we miss any topics? Um, ba, 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 ba. No, I think we got the big ones here. Unless you want to talk about the Oscars. Oh, shit. But yeah. I don't know anything about the Oscars. Did we, uh, did we want to go over? Yeah, let, let's, yeah, yeah. Re, uh, real quick, the, 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 the 50 Best Picture nominees. Now that they do a, a, a billion of They're them. They're doing this eight now? Is it eight? Is it eight? No, no. It's like it can be up to 12, yeah. but it's only like the ones that get past a certain a certain. All threshold. I know is that the only one that deserved all of the awards Avatar is two. nominated for all of the awards, and that is Everything Everywhere All at Once. once. Yeah, that was that was the big uh, uh, awards, darling. 11 nominations, including for Best Actress, Best Supporting Actor, and, and Supporting Actor is, is a, a lock. Uh, it's got everything. That movie has it's perfect. everything. It's great. Is it streaming? Yes. What what is it streaming uh, on Netflix? Wait, is it? No, no, it's not. HBO, HBO Max. Oh, okay. Somebody, somebody looked. I bought it, so I yeah, somebody looked that up. I think it might just be on on. Oh, it's on Showtime. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, that makes some sense. So it's amazing, amazing movie. Uh, all right, Bryce, uh, read our best picture nominees. This is, hmm. by the way, the time of year where I tell myself, you know, this year I'm going to see all the best picture nominees, <laughs> and then. Uh, 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 smash cut to the Oscars happening, and I'm like, "What's that?" Nevertheless, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, here's one uh, on the from Netflix. All quiet on the Western Front. Anybody see it? it it's the book, right? Or is it, right. like uh, it's not like a, it's like, like that, but it's a teen lesbian drama or something like that. Like like they they do that sometimes, where they take Slady like thing. <laughs> no, just like independent movies. That, like it'll be like you know uh, right. the Great Russian War, but it'll be about Greta Gerwig, right. you know, yeah. getting a job. Uh, Wikipedia calls it a 2022 German epic anti-war film based on the novel. All right. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. I was going to say, All Quiet on the Western Front is an anti-war <laughs> novel. Yeah. Uh, okay. We go back to the list here and my computer is screwing up. Here we go. Uh, Avatar, The Way of Water from the Walt Disney Corporation. Yeah. For best picture? For best picture. Hell yeah, man. Isn't it cool? They let uh, these types of movies be best pictures now. Uh, too. Uh, free, free Willy arms. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> fucking give it the Oscar right now for that time that a motherfucking whale <laughs> free willies over a boat and rips a motherfucker's arm out of his goddamn torso. <laughs> that shit was the best. That was a pretty great moment. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, would you accept in trade? That being a new category for the Oscars. Yes. <laughs> the award for best time that a whale free willy to boat and ripped a motherfucker's arm off yes. his torso goes to Avatar, Avatar 2. 2, the oh. way of water. And then the whale free oh. willies and rips the presenter's arm off with the Oscar in his hands. A very Holy specific shit. set of skills. It's really one thing. Eat your heart out, Will Smith. This is the Oscar moment. <laughs> Moment to beat the like, band. Keep the pod's name out of your mouth. Fuck you. Uh, 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 God, get, get rid yeah, of the fuck. Italian guy's name who stood on the seats. Uh, Bertolini. Uh, 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 Tortellini. Ro 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 Roberto. Bertolini. No, not Bertolini. Yes, Roberto. Tito Roberto. Mussolini. It wasn't Mussolini. It was who Manini, Manini, oh, Manini. Okay, right. Thank you, Alex, with your very quiet. <sighs> Perfect comment. comedic timing. What? Perfect <laughs> comedic timing. Love it. Love it. <laughs> it was Nailed Ed it. Eddie Tortellini. <laughs> uh, also nominated for the best it's picture. It's me, Italian actor, Eddie Tortellini. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I won a, yeah. I won he's, the Oscar. He's Teddy Confetti's cousin. Hey, yeah, right. my cousin's Teddy Confetti. I stood <laughs> on the seat. Look at me. <laughs> Life is beautiful. The movie. That's what I won for. It's about the Holocaust. Oops, uh, but it's kind of funny. <laughs> there you go. Uh, our next one here from Fox Searchlight: The Banshees of Inisherin. Everybody talks about it, but this is a bunch of Irish people talking, right? Yeah. It's got Colin Farrell. That's on the it. whole. That's all. That, yeah, it's it's the Colin Farrell and the other guy who's in every Irish movie ever. Brandon Gleeson. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, do, do, uh, describe for me the plot of this. So you know Ireland. Yeah. 
You, you got it. Okay. So they're all hiding their gold, looking for rainbows. Yeah. They're like, oh, ah. No, they're like, they're, know, they're like Irish. Who's shooting the rainbows? Like, like, oh, oh, you know, I think there's a rainbow coalition coming for us. They, they, keep, they keep shining a beacon on our treasures. It's yeah. the only thing that keeps our liberty <laughs> fresh. We need fresh liberty. That's why we're Irish. <laughs> see, you've seen it. <laughs> okay. <Yep. laughs> uh, here's another one. Elvis from Warner Brothers. Everybody see, anybody see Elvis? I saw the first third, and How did you I do loved that? it. Oh. It was. It, it, so why did you only watch the first third? Because my plane landed. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's a good one. Uh, uh, yeah, no, I need to watch the rest. But uh, you saw. I had to show you the clip. The clip of uh, 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 Tom Hanks is so over the top. Colonel, uh, Colonel Tom Parker finding out that Elvis is white. I did. I didn't know that there could be seven minutes of a camera panning in. <laughs> Where it's like just the music, it is pan in, pan in, pan in. They're like, but wait, he's white. And it's like, <laughs> it's like they're discovering gold. Like <laughs> it is, it is an amazing, it is Baz Lerman at his Baz Lermaniest, where they're like, 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 oh, like Sun Records. That's the 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 the, the record that uh all the you know he oh. makes for all the colored folks. And then all of a sudden the son who's playing it is like, Yeah, uh, but uh, he's <gasps> White, and it's like slow motion telenovela pan into uh, 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 Colonel Tom Parker, and he's like, "He's white." It's amazing. Uh, yeah, Elvis rules. Here we go. Uh, next one from A twenty four. Everything, everywhere, all at once yep. from yep. the Daniels. That's the movie. Yep. That's got to be the winner, right? Got to be. I don't know if I it'll be the win it has not you know been what? winning the that best pictures at the previous at all the, the award shows that presage the Oscars. You haven't heard. There's an extended edition. Really? In which a whale. <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah. Oh you baby. Know what's funny? That could totally happen in that movie. <laughs> if that's what it takes it would fit. It would to fit. just win it would all the votes. The oh well that was in in the extended cut. Yeah. <laughs> All right, the next one from Universal and Amblin Partners, The Fableman. See, that is what's going to win Best Picture. Uh, <sighs> it's it's Steven Spielberg doing a self biopic, but it's not called The Spielbergs. It's called The Fablemans, and uh, yeah, it turns out it's a story about a Jewish family with a young impressionable filmmaker who everybody says you can't do it and then eventually he becomes really really successful and makes a biopic about how his family didn't believe in him i thought he already did that with super eight that was the he, other one. he didn't have anything to <laughs> calm down kanye yeah. All right. <laughs> uh the next one from focus features tar this one i don't even know what the fuck is going on with this one it, it's it's a cancel Cancelable uh, 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 conductor. Uh, uh, oh uh, yeah. Oh, is that the one? I saw a clip Wait, from it, one where she's it. like, yeah, where she's like, like criticizing a kid who's saying that he won't play a certain thing. I guess that's where well, this it, is it, from. Yeah. It, yeah. Yeah. So it's like a cancel culture story. It's uh, like a horror psychological thriller. It's a horror movie. Yeah. What? Well, it, it's it, she is in a position of power, and she abuses that power, and uh, uh, people come I, in trying to play. I, yeah, I, I, like I, whiplash. Yeah, I thought it was more whiplashy, but but uh, wait, does she get like possessed by a demon or some shit? Uh, uh, pardon me, psychological drama. So maybe not a horror, but I think yeah. it's probably more closer to like Black Swan. Of like, wait, what? Really? Did you see Black Swan? Yeah, no, but but that's like yeah, yeah like like then. borderline on on like supernatural because the lazy's going so crazy, right? Yeah, I I haven't seen this, so I don't I don't know. Either. The one crazy part I did see the one clip is when she's conducting the orchestra, mm. and a whale <laughs> comes. <laughs> <laughs> right, here's another one. A uh, bass player never knew what happened. Just rips this chick's <laughs> arm right off. She she continues. Everyone goes silent, and then she starts to nod to the yeah. rhythm. <laughs> And the music returning. Yeah. And meanwhile, this whale just got a necklace of arms that he's ripped off from all the best picture nominees. 
<laughs> John <laughs> Williams, I'm coming for you now. Yeah. <laughs> All uh, right. Uh, from Orion and United Artists, women talking. Women talking. <laughs> that's that's going to be the winner. Put this one in the category of I don't know if Bryce is making it up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not making it up, but we don't want to make a lot of jokes about women talking. <laughs> Moving on. Moving on. Uh, from I do our- have a quick call to Las Vegas, though. Yeah. <laughs> uh, from our friends over at Neon, Triangle of Sadness. I have not heard Again? of this. Oh, my God. I remember that. That's, uh, nope. I got nothing. I was thinking about some kind of like. Here's the other problem. problem is that when you have no idea what they're about, we can't make fucking jokes because then it's going to be a movie about something What's it, horrifying. What's it called again? It's, and then we're going to be the guys almost making certainly jokes. There will, yeah. there will be no whales <laughs> doing well, yeah. a free will. Well, because it's not, <laughs> Triangle of Sadness is not about uh, four horny teenagers trying to lose their virginity before the end of summer camp, right? Actually, I think it might be. <laughs> is it? <laughs> it is a satirical black comedy, says Wikipedia. Um, oh, shit. No, I do know. This is like German or some shit, right? I know it's foreign language. Wait, it's English language from Ruben Ustland. Wow. Oh, it, it seems like you couldn't have been farther. I couldn't from have been farther from the truth. No, Heaton wanted to see it. it I know it was. It, it is English language, but it is from a foreign country, right? Uh, it was made in Michigan. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ruben, Justin, you're just fucking wrong. Give ladies, it up, ladies and gentlemen. John Edward. Yeah. <laughs> Has anybody lost somebody I'm in the something. audience? I'm seeing a movie. I'm seeing a movie. <laughs> it's a drama. No, it's a comedy. It's, it's in a, the world. Uh, German, uh, English. Uh, farther, closer. Whatever. All right. Anything else? She's Swedish. Uh, and finally, from Paramount, Top Fuck Gun me. Maverick. Oh no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Uh, uh, Watch out, Maverick. That whale's on the loose. (laughs) (laughs) I don't care, man. (laughs) I'll do anything. Rooster, don't try to go under the whale. I'm going under the whale, Maverick. (laughs) How did it get my arm from inside the cockpit? I've made it. Uh, in my hubris, I'm giving the middle thing. Ah, oh, my arm! There you go. Those are your top <laughs> best uh, pictures. But, but you shake my arms and you rattle my brain. <laughs> you rip my arm off and you're insane. <laughs> 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 You've lost <laughs> your right arm. <laughs> Whoa, your right arm. <laughs> the whale <laughs> jumped <laughs> over <laughs> your arm and now it's gone, gone, gone. gone. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Patreon, <laughs> Patreon, <laughs> dot com slash great night. Everybody head on over there, support this program, uh, and and uh, uh, we'll see if we can watch all ten Oscar movies. Oh no, we definitely will. The only way we won't is if people don't support us hard enough yeah if we don't feel the support then we're gonna wither and die and uh the next thing that'll be thermited is me (laughs) (laughs) and you only need if you don't give us money then brian's gonna put 80 pounds of thermite on my head like like no they were very explicit like it's like no this is very bad and you're in a lot of trouble and i'm like i accept that then they just left (laughs) <laughs> they did they didn't like want to ask any questions too much about other people like they they would seem pretty chill about it <laughs> yeah we will do the bones on thursday maybe next maybe to, next maybe, to the maybe burnt there, out yeah. car okay. yeah or maybe we can go over there oh to the fire department yeah just yeah. So like that will be a good thing if, just show it just if ambush them with your Mike. first impression is like yeah. hi we have supplementary paywall content that we'd like <laughs> to make with you <laughs> yeah Okay, well, we'll workshop it. <laughs> uh, yeah, patreon.com slash great. Now get the exclusive Bones episodes that come out each and every week. A double dose of great night in your life if you head on over there right now. Patreon.com hey, slash great night. Yes. You got a game for us? I got a bit for us. We did this a little, uh, maybe a few months ago, uh, but I figured why don't we take another round through the Am I the Asshole subreddit? Hey! hey! So I pulled some. Am uh, I the asshole? I'll ask the internet now. And 
I would be 500 assholes and there'd be 500 assholes more to be 1,000 assholes on the Am I an Asshole subreddit. Actually, that that was the first song that came up on the fucking list. (laughs) That was your first Alexa fucking list song? I asked Alexa (laughs) for fucking music and that's what played. (laughs) <laughs> that is for David Tennant. I know that. That's his fuck song. I'm, See, that was... You shouldn't have told us that. I know. <laughs> you should have kept that one to yourself. What's, what's, what, what's funniest is that he busted before the Haver line. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to read you some Am I the Assholes here, uh, and we'll all just figure out if someone's the asshole. Some of the uh, re- results that folks on the subreddit uh, will say is, uh, you're the asshole, or not the asshole, or everybody sucks here, yep. or... Uh, no one's the asshole, so uh, and we're, we'll all kind of... Or, boy, that was really illegal. Or, boy, that was very... <laughs> we don't even make permits for that. Uh, all right, here's one. Am I the asshole for telling on my brother because he was vaping in my room when I didn't want him to? Everybody knows that vaping's not allowed in my room. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are the odds that the person who posted this was born after that song was published? Uh, 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 Absolutely. Uh, an absolute certainty. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, uh, go ahead and read this one, yes. Bryce. Uh, recently, I, 14-year-old male, uh, got a PS5 for Christmas, and of course I let my brother, 18-year-old male, to use it. For context, he vapes regularly and is generally the type of guy to go out on his own and explore new stuff without much outside help. What 18-year-old needs outside help to go out and explore stuff? Now, this is being I mean, written by a 14-year-old. This is the perspective of a 14-year-old, right? Right. So, so he's, he's, yeah, this is how he's explain, uh, explaining the world. Okay. Adult. Uh, he he's th- only able to vote and serve in the military. Are you lecturing the 14-year-old? I would like to. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Carry on. (laughs) Anyway. Uh, My parents do not support vaping, and I, being a good brother, keep the secret that he vapes from them. He has been vaping while using my PS5. I told him to stop because I worried it might cause a smell to arise in my room, and I generally don't like it. He doesn't listen and keeps vaping. I told him that it's disrespectful, and I don't like it. He's still vaping. This goes on for like a week, and I've had enough, so for one last time, I ask him to stop firmly. And he starts going on about how he can never act like himself in his own house. Even though he's in my room, he's still vaping. So I thought if he's not going to respect my boundaries and my wishes, I'm not. I told on my parents, and now he's pissed at me. Am I the asshole? Uh, So he's a narc, Yeah, but he did warn multiple times, and it is his room... Yeah, but but he shouldn't have warned and complained. He should have asserted property rights yeah. and said, "No, my my room, my rules." He's 14. But he's fourteen. And and how does he enforce it? Because I think like like, By, like taking taking the, the 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 power cord and yeah and, and saying, "If I smell vape, no cord, mate." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 Shit, I can't. What rhymes with vape? You don't need to. You can just keep talking. You can and have a you, good conversation. You know, uh, a common a, a common yeah. comedy bit is where someone one person does the joke and the other person doesn't do a joke. Yeah, I failed. <laughs> uh, uh, no, uh, vaping. Hey, hey, get out wait, of here, no, no, no. vapor. He, uh, I kind of want to say, like, like I would think that it's so obvious he's not the asshole that I want to instantly give him the win, but he's so poorly asserted even the most basic of property well, rights that I kind of want to deny him. Al- like, also, yeah, you are the asshole. Also that's, remember that's that the, the, the trial here is being presented to the jury of Reddit. So will Reddit find narking to be enough to move it to an everybody sucks here? Otherwise, this is a classic not the asshole. Uh, I agree. I, I think the vote almost certainly says not the asshole, but I'm so disgusted by the weak need uh, sloppy. You just want to punish this boy for being small. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. And it's not because I got a bad haircut. It's it's because you lit a car on fire. It's because he's a coward and he needs to hear it. There you go. Brett, do you have a Courage, take on? Courage the cowardly oh. asshole. Yeah. Although, uh, 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 norm- normally uh, searching a uh, uh, man punishes the boy for being small brings up different <laughs> content on Reddit. <laughs>
All right, there we go. All right, so we know how this is done. Yeah. Uh, here's one for you. Am I the asshole for complaining that my sister slash roommate? Oh, wait, hold on. Wait, wait, what, uh, was, what was the you, answer? It's not an. It's it's not a game. It's it, oh, okay. most people said it's not the an, it's not the asshole. Okay, this is so, not really. Yeah, the, no, the we need to have a little was, bit of, Yeah, was, exactly. Not an asshole. Yeah. Uh, here's one. Am I the asshole for complaining that my sister slash roommate bought single ply toilet paper? Already. Ooh. Wait, what? Ooh. But just already initial thoughts. Probably not. Am I the asshole? Yeah, uh, uh, you know, this is probably going to be something that I can see falling along mm -hmm. class lines. Oh. That if somebody is talking about how they really don't like single ply toilet paper, there's going to be a bunch of motherfuckers that are getting off a third shift that are going to be like, Bitch, you can you can use this single ply toilet paper. That's what I use. So I feel like this one's gonna get an asshole rating because of the way it's written, uh, not yeah. necessarily the the issue that is being uh, laid out. Uh, this this is one that you could stop reading before uh, you get past the word bought. Am I the asshole for complaining that my sister roommate bought? I don't give a fuck what comes next she bought it you're you the don't asshole get the, yeah. you're the asshole for complaining about what they bought all right uh they write when i went to wipe i felt like i was in a public restroom oh, when i you. was in the privacy of my own home i was curious so i asked my sister did you say we were low on they were low on toilet paper when you went to the store her response no but there were no big carts because people at fred meyer can't do their jobs jesus christ me Okay, did you mean to buy single ply? We are going through it faster because we need to use more when it's single ply. She blows up on me at this point. Well, I could have just not gotten toilet paper. It, I didn't have enough room in my cart. I spent Jesus $180 Christ. on hey, man, groceries. Uh, you, you, you want to know how I got away with it? I didn't dig deeper. I said, I accept full responsibility, officer. <laughs> This is this is a, this is a a short form play uh, uh, <laughs> with all the dialogue here. Uh, she blows up at me at this point. Well, I could have just not gotten toilet paper. I didn't have enough room in my cart. I spent one hundred eighty dollars on groceries. We go through so much toilet paper anyway, so it doesn't matter. Me, dumbfounded, says, "Look, I'm just stating as a matter of fact, you use less toilet paper when you get better toilet paper." She then cut me off and just continued screaming at me, and I said, I'm not doing this, and went to my room and closed the door. After I realized she was feeling attacked because she thought I wasn't grateful that she went and bought some groceries and toilet paper. Not my point! I was literally just trying to figure out if her buying the toilet paper was intentional or not. It's cheaper in the long run to spend the money on slightly more expensive toilet paper. These Am are I the asshole? These are the best, where they start off possibly not the asshole, but there's no question by the end that they're definitely the asshole. Yeah. You know, the, the only thing that I could see here is that you could move it to an everybody sucks here because obviously there was not a, a, any kind of communication that was productive between both people. So you could theoretically say, Hey, this is a small issue that could be reasonably discussed. It was not reasonably discussed. But I'm with you. This is this is a a YTA. You're the asshole in my book. Mm. Book it. Booking it. Uh, that seems to be the consensus on Reddit as well. You're the asshole. Yeah. What a lot of those top comments say. I think you're right though. It goes back to bought. Right. Unless like, you said that. I gave. Unless the beginning of it is I gave my sister a hundred dollars for groceries and the specific instruction to buy two ply toilet paper. And then she came back with one ply toilet paper. Then yeah, you're then, fucked. Then yeah. we would have a discussion. Yeah, exactly. Right? But, but, it's but like, unless like, it begins with that, I was you're derelict fucked. in my duties as a housemate, uh, and yeah. somebody else took care of me. Yeah. Uh, okay, my thing's not working right here, so I'm I'm just gonna read this on my screen. Uh, uh, am I the asshole for getting into a dispute with the daycare staff over my child's nap schedule? This is a classic. Am I the asshole thing where it's like. Am I the asshole for holding to account the hospice care worker who slit the throat of my father? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, <laughs> no, 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 no. The, 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 the real, like, fucking put it in the Louvre pieces of art that come out of that, that board are the, like, like, am I the asshole for running over an old lady? <laughs> and then you read, it's like, 
the old woman worked in hospice and slit my daughter's throat <laughs> as she was escaping the the the, the authorities. Right. First I was one. I was trying to get my daughter to the hospital and accidentally ran her over, killing her instantly. <laughs> Am I the asshole? I apologized and wrote a note. Then she came alive and fungus came out of her eye sockets. <laughs> she began to click in a mysterious manner. Yep. So I, spent, I ran her over. I spent all the time walking <laughs> from one place to another <laughs> yep all right here we go am i the asshole for getting into a dispute with the daycare staff over my child's nap schedule background info i'm a working parent who values the importance of a consistent sleep schedule okay. already for my hey, child oof, oof. hey i i, I, I uh uh, here we go. This is my this is the way I indicate that you're the asshole. Oh. Brian is squatting. He is squatting, squatting as if he wants to go, yep. use his asshole to shit on the ground. Yep. Go my ahead. child, let's call her Emma, has been attending the same daycare for. Can't a even few, name her child. All right. For for a few months now. <laughs> <laughs> you forgot. <laughs> I like that. It's not him protecting her. He's oh, like, he let's call her Denise. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they continue. Uh, been going to the same daycare for a few months now. I noticed that her nap schedule was being disrupted, and I couldn't figure out why. I suspected I'm just the daycare. Gonna unbuckle my belt. Yeah. Oh, Jiminy. Brian Justin, is, you, is you are the flexing. last line of defense on this. Uh, Brian is literally flexing his asshole on set <laughs> mm. to demonstrate that he believes this person is an asshole. I mean, it's, I, I, it's not a complicated. I, I, I bit. hope it's proven <laughs> otherwise. I suspected the daycare staff were not following my instructions properly. I decided to set up a meeting with the daycare director and discuss my concerns. During the meeting, I found out that the staff were not adhering to Emma's nap schedule and instead were trying to make all the children nap at the same time, regardless of their yeah, individual needs. I'm unzip my fly here. It's fine. I was furious and Please expressed... Please don't flash dick and get this oh, channel no. banned. No, no, no. God, I mean, you're... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Annalisa, Annalisa is, is moving the camera away from Brian. Appropriate. Now, the daycare staff are mad at me and the director thinks I'm overreacting. I feel like my child's well-being and development are being compromised and I am not take being off heard. Your shoes. Do, uh, you take now your the daycare staff are expecting an apology. Did I go too far here? Do, do you take your shoes off to shit every time? Uh, you know, I never have, but I look forward to this experience. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, does it feel better? Nope. Wait. No, yeah, he's he's been squatting for the last he's two minutes. He's been squatting. Justin. Yeah. No, no, yeah. Thank you. But but do you look like now that you've taken your shoes off and you're pretending to shit? Do you think like I don't know? I could really t I could really loosen these dogs when I, I take. I a do feel like fewer people are looking at my shit hair. head. Yeah, that's true. Few, fewer people are looking at your hair. The funniest thing is that now your hair is starting to stick up in the back unevenly. <laughs> it really is. They fucked you up bad, man. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> yep. Because uh, it has. It's like a on. dead. It's like. <laughs> It's like it's like a fucking like 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 a, like a, like a Tim Burton landscape, but only on the back third of your head. She was really proud of it too. <laughs> like she was like, "You're welcome." Wow. They gave her a seven dollar tip. No, that's such a huge tip. That's like fifty percent. Jesus. Yeah. Yep. Oh my goodness. Fuck anyway, uh, Sam, the uh, asshole. Eat, eat your heart out, Sam the bellhop. <laughs> I, I, I uh, one person really liked that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, uh, are they the asshole here for yeah, getting? You're a yeah. Piece of garbage. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I mean, daycares are like prisons, right? Like, like, like you can't That's go right. to the warden and be like, "Why aren't you feeding my brother vegan food?" It's like, I don't. It's a prison. We're trying to not get stabbed. Well, speaking as someone who used to be a preschool teacher, okay, I can tell you that if a parent came up to me and said, "Uh, Emma, I let's call her Emma." Uh, uh, <laughs> needs to take her nap at this time, I would respond with, well, the kids take the naps when it's time for them to take for the naps. naps. They yeah. all take, have a nap time. No, it has to be, I'd be like, get your non-name child and get the fuck out. That's what I would, mm -hmm. that's Damn. how tough I am. And then that guy would raise his hand in anger. And, and then only the for a whale. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how do people not know this? That like, Daycares just do a big group nap. Yep. I do you need that explained to you? I think yeah. He the uh, uh, I don't know whatever people. Uh, obviously, he was. Are you taking their side just right about on it? Here. This is, no, this no, is no. Lobby. I'm just saying that the the dude is obviously deluded and self righteous enough to have that opinion because he then took that opinion and wrote on the internet, assuming he was the hero of the story. Right. Is so. It 
Is it bad that I didn't assume it was a dude? Oh, shit. Wow. Or am I progressive? Or Oh, that the <laughs> lady was the asshole? This was a lady asshole? Yes. Because You're I believe again. women, I don't use the L word, <laughs> <laughs> have agency. They do. <laughs> Asshole agency. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, there we go. Uh, on that one, uh, Reddit seemed to believe that, uh, I'm loading this up here, uh, you're the asshole is what uh, people are saying. You're the, yes, asshole, you're the asshole. The asshole. Man, so so far, Reddit, uh, 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 I'd say crushing it, but that would be rude. Would it? Would it be? Well, I mean, I don't want anything crushed. I want everything nurtured. Reddit nurturing it. Is is crushing it on the Stanford list of banned words? Well, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't eat the filthy motherfucker. <laughs> I'd never crushed the motherfucker. Have you have you have you read the, oh, yeah, the yeah, list yeah. of Stanford uh, uh, wait, 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 which they've now rescinded all of them? Have they? Yeah. Uh, Good job, Chief. Uh, yeah. Uh, great timing, Joe. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure there was a lot of manpower put into that. All right. Here's the next one. Here. These were all words that were banned. Am I the asshole for walking out of a restaurant on my GF? <laughs> Is it a up? Oh. But, but it could be a classic. This could be one of those classics where it's like, oh, like I walked out to get her insulin or some shit. Like, <laughs> yeah. Or she, she said, I'm about to uh, rob with my Glock this establishment. Yes. You're either with me or against me. Yeah. So I left. Am I the asshole? She stood up on the table and said, I, uh, 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 everybody, this is a robbery. <laughs> <laughs> and if you fucking prick move and I'll execute every motherfucking last <laughs> one of you. Am I the asshole? <laughs> Girlfriend and I were having dinner at a restaurant when she got a text from her best friend who recently gave birth. And she said, OMG, she got a C-section. She works as a nurse, so she then explained to me that the type of incision that they make for that and how it'll leave a scar. I then, as a joke, said, at least she'll still be tight down there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, sorry, hold on. Uh, 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 stenographer, <laughs> stenographer, can we please have that red <laughs> back? back? Can we roll that back? Didn't yeah. quite understand quick, what was quick, said there. Uh, also, also, I'm I'm judging everyone in this room, and I'm sorting everybody by people who have had kids and people who have not had kids. Because I feel I feel like anybody who has actually been through the experience have been like, it's a legit upside to a C-section. <laughs> <laughs> they continue. My GF looked confused and then said, "That was a weird comment to make about her friend." I then said, "It's a very normal joke to make," and she disagreed. <laughs> TLDR, there was some back and forth. Just, yeah. <laughs> he's got a yada yada through all the fighting. Yada, yada, yada. There was some back and forth. I asked her to drop it, and she kept talking about it. I said to her, you're so insecure. Oh and she God. then goes, does it make you feel good to call me that? So then I got really frustrated, got up, walked out of the restaurant, and drove home. She called me several times. I drove both of us there. But I was so frustrated <laughs> and just wanted to get home, so I turned my phone off. Ugh. She showed up at our apartment 30 minutes later and was really pissed. Wait, calling, they lived really? together? What about? Yeah, now. Calling me an asshole and that I and overreacted and that she waited in the cold for 20 minutes for an Uber. Am I the asshole for walking out at her and leaving her there to be frustrated, folks? So, so hold on. J just so I know all the characters. Yeah. The person posting this made the uh, tired overplay joke yeah. about... It, she'll be tight down there, yes. Right. Uh, she was offended he, by the thing about being tight down there. Yeah, right. Yeah, he yeah. left. Yeah, mm -hmm. and after the whole tight down there thing. Yeah, yeah. She was upset mm -hmm. about the tight down there thing. Yeah. <laughs> Just that we're on the same page. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah, but he and he drove both of them there before yeah. the tight down there thing. Before yeah. the that. yeah, but he was in trouble. Not for having made the joke, but because she About had to wait. Down there. Yeah, uh, but because she had to wait 20 minutes for an Uber. I think it was both that she had to wait 20 minutes in the cold for the Uber. And <laughs> that he made the joke about how her friend was still tight down there. I don't I don't feel qualified to chime in on that. <laughs> wow. I, 
I'm sorry. I thought your married experience was going to come into this yeah, one. Yeah, you know yeah, what? Yeah. You're right. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm going to call Bonnie right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jiminy. <laughs> I'll tell you what. It's oh, a tight one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's pulled out his phone. He's actually doing this thing, folks. Oh. <clears throat> Sorry, Bonnie. <laughs> hey, you're live on the air. We're discussing. Oh my God. Hi, Bonnie. I'm in the Hi, car Bonnie. with my child. Is oh. this appropriate? Uh, no. Yeah, no. I, 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 <laughs> Not appropriate. Is. I think it totally is. Uh, uh, Hi. <laughs> which, which child? <laughs> Josie's in the car. Okay. Oh. Am you know I what? the asshole for calling my wife live on air <laughs> to read her? And am I the asshole? We're asking a question. of uh, There's a uh, subreddit called Am I the Asshole? And somebody is asking if he is an asshole because uh, he found out that somebody else <laughs> got a C-section and made a comment about- What was the comment? The Quote. comment was, well, at least she'll be tight down there. Uh, and uh, uh, who boy did the other character not like it? And, and then he left and she came home very upset and he wants to know if he was the asshole. Yep. Oh, uh, uh, she had to she had to take an Uber because he drove and left her she there. Had to take an Uber. <laughs> yeah, they live together. By the way, Josie, I mean, a, a C-section is where they cut the baby out of your belly, <laughs> and then it doesn't have to go through your vagina. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, oh, that was like that was one of my favorite jokes. Though, the dumb, the dumb, the dumb thing I said. Uh, romance novel that I was listening to today. He says, "Oh, you must have been conceived through anal sex because he's such an asshole." <laughs> 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 I, uh, you know what? <laughs> Vegas just exploded because nobody had action on that response. Uh, 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 is this person the asshole or not? Yes. Yeah. I think that but uh, only for their that's... lazy comedy writing, right? Oh, well, I mean, certainly that. And also for trying to derail another person's self-confidence when we all know that sex happens in the brain most importantly. Well, so to weaken oh, somebody's self-esteem is a criminal offense. They were gossiping it, about it, somebody it, else. All right. It's always tied up there <laughs> in the brain. Okay. All right. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I think they were laughing too hard at my joke, and it just blew out the microphone. Yeah. I'll take the L on that one. Yeah. yeah. Mm. All right, go into the Reddit here. This had eighteen thousand votes. Yeah. <laughs> I'll uh, I'll read from Crystal Queen three thousand two days ago. You're the asshole for being for the completely unnecessary sexist <laughs> comment about her friend's vagina, <laughs> and for your lack of understanding about basic biology. Bonus asshole points for calling your girlfriend insecure. Here we go. Yeah, and then fucking leaving like a baby. Fucking out. Like, like, look, like, oh, jeez, yeah. And then no. hanging up the phone, and then uh, just, I mean, a, a fucking uh, horrible. Uh, uh, and the, the problematic nature of a uh, problematic nature of of Uber. On top of that, <laughs> sure, right. It gets bro, into Travis Palana cover. Yeah, yeah, right. Uh, uh, yeah, there, there is the best thing that could have happened is that poor woman now has a. Festival of red flags for which she should be heating and moving out of that apartment yeah, immediately. It's possible. Yeah. Although that's also the, the the classic Reddit thing. Whenever there's any kind of marital or girl, relationship leave him. issue, yeah, leave him, just, girl. Like, Get the fuck out. Girl, leave. Leave him. All right, we got another one here. Uh, am I the asshole for not wanting to sleep in the same bed as my romantic, as any romantic partner, excuse me, for as long as I, male 23, can remember, I do not enjoy sharing a bed with anyone. I'd rather sleep on the floor with a thin blanket than share a bed. The size of the bed makes zero difference. 
Generally, this little feature doesn't affect me too much uh, in life, but as of late, after moving out of my parents' garage, I've been dating more often. Oh, this Brian, is, this is a great no. Just the the color the color of our protagonist. I'm already it's he's he's lovable already. I've been dating more often. I've been seeing someone for the last few months, and she, female, 21, stays over a few nights out of the week now. At first, I could grit my teeth and miss wow. out on a decent night's sleep here and there, but now it's consistent. I'm a pretty heavy sleeper, and when I hit the deep sleep phase, I, uh, uh, I'm a pretty heavy sleeper when I hit the deep sleep phase, but I just can't get to it. I'll wake up and not get back to sleep for hours. Most times, I'll get up super early, like 3 or 4 a.m., and sleep in a different room or just start my day. Most of my exes have commented on this being strange in the past, but I've never taken it to heart. Now, someone I deeply care about is worried about our relationship, saying things like, it's like you don't enjoy being with me, and if you can't get comfortable with me now, what's next? Am I the asshole? Uh, y you are the asshole because you're saying this on Reddit and not to your significant other, because that's the person you should be communicating to. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, dipshit. I, I once knew a dude who was among the sweetest human beings that I have ever uh, uh, been around that simply could not sleep any other way than on his tummy. He needed to sleep on his stomach to go to sleep. Told you and, this in confidence. <laughs> and <laughs> and uh, he was dating a girl at the time who was like, you don't care about me unless we are spooning and and go to sleep and this motherfucker went delirious for days on end because of her insecurity about it being like a spooning situation uh so yeah uh, uh i i can i I've, I've met people that have that thing I, I don't know where his reasoning on exactly why he can't uh, uh sleep in in the same bed the same bed thing seems yeah. a little bit odd Wait, you're not touching i mean the other person that that seems a little odd but it's 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 a uh, uh compatibility is a negotiation and you have to earn credit and trust to where you can get to a place where both of you could be pleased and if, if somebody wants very much to be spooned then uh uh, uh you factor that in and you get to a place uh, where now I don't know. I, oh, we do have a little more info here. Yeah. Uh, most introduction 179 in the Reddit thread asked, can you explain why you don't sleep as well in bed with a partner? Have you explained that to your current partner? Uh, Wole, the OP said, there isn't really a clear answer, but in my own head, it just having someone there makes me alert and almost uneasy, but I can't exactly say that to them. I have deep feelings towards them, of course you can. but I just can't shake the discomfort. Yeah. Now, poor communication. Uh, uh, throw them into the pits of hell, torture them for all of eternity. I, the worst yeah. person, make them make them spoon with Hitler from forever and ever and ever. Wow. Yep. Would Hitler like that? No. That's why Hitler's in hell, too. <laughs> this is my <laughs> hell as well. <laughs> I, I oh, like no, to sleep I, I... on my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, any other opinions here on the sleep in the bed? I just find it very interesting that he, in this state, when he's with someone else, he keeps trying and trying to get into that deep sleep. He wants that deep sleep. He just can't get there, even though he keeps trying and he has to get that deep sleep only when he's alone. Wait, I'm was, missing. Was, was, a, was there I'm a bit a in there? Or? Well, I don't know. <laughs> Brett's just doing some freestyle poetry. <laughs> <laughs> he wants that deep sleep, but he can't. I was get gonna that say, deep you, sleep. you keep having spacey thoughts like that, and I'm gonna try and sell you coke at Caesar's Palace. <laughs> just, no, give yeah. me, just give me that vape. We'll yeah. be all right. I, I, we got our final one here. I think oh. the alpha and the omega is just in the communication. This is poor communication, right? Uh, reckless speculation. I wonder about that man's past that it's just somebody else in the bed that is making him uneasy and not like a sound thing. I can understand yeah. if it, like if he's like, oh, I'm a very light sleeper. Like, maybe that is him trying to say that where it's like, like he just can't focus on anything. But even then, it's like, all right, if it's in the same bed, then maybe there are elements of like, I, I think if this could be a problem for him going forward, regardless of, of the partner situation. If he's that light of a sleeper, then you should probably investigate ways to help him get to sleep better. But uh, no, I, I think that this is a not the asshole situation. Mm. Huh. Okay. Uh, uh, the Reddit uh, was a little, was a little split. Uh, we have a lot of not, no assholes here and not the asshole. Yeah. We have a few people uh, saying that they're the asshole uh, 
to so that <laughs> that you need to communicate better. But then there's another one here from Gray Mage who says, "No assholes here, but you need to communicate better." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's it. I mean, I, I, for his life, these are these are conversations he is only going to have more of as 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 a young man. So yes, th this is this is a lesson to learn. Are right, we gonna final one here? Am I the asshole for farting on our cat? <laughs> <laughs> Straight up, I'm gonna I'm gonna call my shot. No, almost certainly not. Nope. I can imagine no scenario nope. in which somebody is the asshole for farting on a cat. Nope. Bitch. Universally, uh, fucking call it, lock it in. <laughs> uh, I, I'll put money on the table. I'll buy some coke from your guy. Let's go. <laughs> Let's just read There's it. There's a fun. hero, <laughs> and he's farting on his cat. <laughs> Every night, our cat, two male. Loves to cuddle up by my legs. 24, female. He usually stays there for the majority of the night, and I've gotten used to it. The problem arises when, during this eight-hour cycle, I need to fart. I usually just let them rip, and our cat doesn't seem to mind. Or at least, he's never left the bed right after one. My partner, 25 male, says that this is disrespectful and I should aim it away from him. <laughs> However, doing this would mean moving my legs and therefore waking him, the cat, up. So am I the asshole for farting on our cat? I might be the asshole because I am ripping ass in our cat's face every night. <laughs> our partner said, you need to add that your farts are a lot. I mean, who's to say, uh, has the cat chimed in? Yeah, that's... No, the cat info. hasn't left. Yeah, cat maybe... Uh, maybe the, cat maybe the cat's moved? like... No. like uh, uh, the cat came back the very next day. <laughs> uh, Thought he was. All right, so let me ask this, though. Mm -hmm. Is the cat just a proxy for the man... Trying to start a conversation about her farting about this fucking fart situation. Uh, that's mm. on the dude. That's uh, that. No, the conversation should be, "Hey, can we talk about your gut biome?" Yep. Uh, uh, instead of you're offending our cat. Yeah. Don't hide behind the pussy. Cat. Uh, oh, God, you had it. <laughs> you just just you need to leave it. No. You, you had it. Should I call Bonnie? <laughs> Yes. No. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> a, good, a good game of comedy chicken right there. <laughs> Should I call it? No. Uh, this is from Reward Hungry in the thread. If you're laying on with your back and bottom against the mattress and the cat is on your legs, you aren't aiming farts at the cat like a Nerf gun. It's true. <laughs> true. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know what the, the, the man's assumption would be he's like okay don't fart directly on the cat so what does that mean that does she have to flip over and fart upwards or i, I mean that's a, in any healthy relationship both partners should in that situation be able to say hey what what do i hey what What's going to take to get you to stop farting on that cat? <laughs> what, I got, what do I got to do today yeah. to get you to, get you to, stop, to stop farting, farting on, on that cat? cat. <laughs> because my manager is all, yeah. he's really giving me the old fur ball. <laughs> I mean, what's it going to take? That's all I hear from this cat. Fart, 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 fart. <laughs> uh, now we've got a picture of the cat here. Oh, it's inverted because I've done some wacky things here. Uh, but uh, this is the cat in question. His name is Darby, and he was 13 pounds one month ago. He looks cat like doesn't care about farts, man. Like it eats cat food. I would love to believe that this shit is, is gross. like. A, I would love to believe this is like yeah. a thermal image of a cat having recently been farted upon. And you, and you just see a, a big purple cloud right. go right into its face. Uh, yeah. yeah, no, I, cats I'm gonna love say it. Not the asshole. <laughs> Not like, the asshole? Yeah, no. It, it's Although like, this one involves literal assholes. Yeah, uh, you know what that cat ought to be doing? Eating rats out of, outside of a Chinese food restaurant. Uh, instead, it's laying between your legs, and guess what? That's the danger zone. You gotta get a fart in your face. That's called rent cat. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> That's called rent cat. Yeah, yep. you gotta pay the rent. Remember they now. remember they did that musical. They mashed up rent, cat? rent and yeah. cats. Yeah. Man, but it was weirdly all about farts. Yeah, <laughs> there was a way. Uh, yeah, not the asshole. There we go. Uh, alrighty. <laughs> uh, here's here's a, a, a comment. Cat enjoying Deb Breeze. 
Deep cut. Here's a comment from a deleted uh, poster. I love to think that they deleted their account because they posted this. Cats and dogs love stinky things. Stinkier the better. <laughs> it's true. So unless he protests, it's probably just like aromatherapy to him. <laughs> I would delete my account if I said my cat was having aromatherapy with my farts. I'm sorry. I That's just me. <laughs> that account? Barack Obama. <laughs> <No>! <laughs> Oh, yeah, it says here POTUS44. Wow. <laughs> uh, all right, well, that's uh, Am I the Asshole? If you've got an idea for a bit or a Wait, game. Wait, what, 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 what was the, the, the consensus? Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Okay, Majorly, good, good, majorly, good. majorly. Yeah. If you've got an idea for a game or a bit here, send it to our email address, greatnightpod at gmail.com, or check the show notes wherever you're enjoying this fine program. Thank you. So, uh, <laughs> Brett. Yes. What have we learned today? Oh, well, I've learned three things. I've learned, well, actually, I've learned more, but three important things is oh, one, there is a method to a establishing an emotional night. attachment to slot now machines so that you can win more money from them. Hell yeah. Uh, that's it's called two, respect. That two, I should always think through the bit before letting it rip. <laughs> <laughs> and three, there are people who think farting on cats is a negative thing. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm, for, I'm, I'm for, is there anybody anti farting on cats? Nobody in, in the audience. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. See a lot of eyes refusing to meet mine. <laughs> <laughs> hey, by the way, by the way, uh, 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 tickets. Yes, tickets. tickets. Yeah, Founders Day. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Uh, Founders.scamstuff.com. We just unlocked another 25 tickets. Uh, tomorrow on Ice Cream Social, they're going to announce that the Ice Cream Social boys are definitely confirmed to join us Woo! this April Fool's Day, April 1st. It's going to be a blast. Get in now while you still can. Yeah, those tickets are going to move fast because the Ice Cream Social people are going to find out tomorrow. So if you want in, if you're watching live, good for you. If you're listening to it, then go fucking fast because we don't know when their episode is going to go live. Founders.scamstuff.com. That's right. Boom. Uh, man, uh, still a great night. Keep it tight down there. <laughs> Shine on, you crazy diamonds. never been a greater, great night. Call Bonnie. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>